I'm here to assist you with all your test equipment needs, from multimeters and test weights to patient simulators and x-ray analyzers. If you need guidance or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me at jbarber at bcgroupinternational.com. So folks, you guys are probably most familiar with Samsung being an ultrasound producer. And we didn't really go into any detail on ultrasounds in our last video, so I've got some people that I've requested and they're over here. They're gonna show us about Samsung ultrasounds and some of the options and uh, they have an entire lab set up to help us do that. So let's go ahead. It's beautiful. We have multiple units set up in this room. And here we go. Rihanna, you're already very familiar with. And I'm Tanya Rite. I'm the education manager here at Samsung. I'm Stephanie Durham. I lead the radiology clinical team. Excellent. And you guys have multiple units set up it's in this room. It's a room full of ultrasound. That's yeah, right. and there's many cool things going on, different types of studies. They're all simulated at this point. But uh, what model ultrasound is this? So this is our radiology flagship product. This okay. is the RS85 Prestige. So this is the, you know, the mecca of our ultrasound technologies. It has, you know, amazing radiology image quality for your abdominal imaging, for small parts, vascular, uh, women's health, 3D. It pretty much does a little bit of everything really well. That's excellent. I see that some of these images have color. Now, what, what is the technology that allows you to have color to an ultrasound? So color Doppler is essentially giving directional flow through a vessel uh, color okay. uh, so that they know whether it's coming towards or away from the transducer. And it can detect that? It can, yes. That's wild. Different okay. sensitivities, different um, organs have set certain parameters that you sort of know as an industry standard. And then there's certain things specifically about this product that it really excels at, really helping with some of that um, vascularity in areas where um, sonographers typically struggle. Now this is an almost familiar layout. We have a touch screen up here, a very large tablet touch screen, and that would be the controller, pop-out keyboard. Yeah, very mm -hmm. nice. Four probe capability, or is it, does it also have a fifth probe that it's it can handle? Parking port. It's a parking port. Oh, it's a parking port. port. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Obviously, the user interface itself is actually ECG customizable for, for ease of use for our customers to be able to walk up to the system and easily start to scan on it. That versatility and walk up ease of use is really important for sonographers as well as being really mindful of ergonomics. So the system itself is designed to really help with that repetitive stress injury that a lot of sonographers have. Now this is a general purpose ultrasound. So what type of procedures could we expect to see for this type of case? So this would be utilized for pretty much uh, outpatient, hospital-based, ER, you know, okay. uh, radiology facilities, women's health, vascular labs, whether they're doing uh, a right upper quadrant abdominal ultrasound, they're doing a scan for kidneys, maybe to check for kidney stones, um, small parts like thyroid, breast imaging, uh, and then vascularity, whether it's um, in the carotid or peripherally, you know, any of those vascular exams. That's excellent. In the hospital, you'll also see this in interventional suites. Okay. Where they're doing procedures right, you know, in the sterile process. So right up next to the the facility where they're doing all of these more advanced procedures. That's typically where I've encountered them. Yeah. I specialize in operating rooms and um, small procedure rooms and stuff is where I always see them. Yep. And that's pretty cool. And I see that you guys also have, well, there's a wide variety of probes that are on this guy. And oh, then, yes. So we have pretty much every transistor you would need for every application you would need it for. Your linear transducers, we have many different curved transducers, endovag, um, a lot of those high frequency, smaller linears for uh, small parts, um, 3D, 4D volume transducers. We pretty much have everything on the system that a sonographer would What's use. What's 3D, 4D? That's, uh, I've never heard of that before. We've, we've seen 3D. In fact, you can see a slight example of a 3D image right there. Um, so, that's, so Yeah, that's actually a, a four dimensional uh, image. So the now how, what do you mean by really, fourth dimension? That's wild. Yes. That's actually really the, the um, adding in like a live acquisition. Mm -hmm. So what Tanya's going to show you here is, is our ability to do a three dimensional image of a baby's face. So three dimension is uh, X, Y, and Z, which is depth, height, you know, width. Mm -hmm. But then the fourth dimension, I, I see you got, motions, yeah, you, so you have some funky probes here and, and that has got to be the one of the largest probes I've seen. So what's going on with that one? Why is it different shape right from this one? Yeah. 
So that's a, a wobbler. So that's what we uh, in ultrasound consider a volume transducer. So whether okay. we're doing an endovaginal one um, or this curved transducer that's made to do volume imaging on um, on the patient, whether yep. it's abdominally or, or um, transvaginally. That's wild, and it's a moving image. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call 4D ultrasound because we've introduced the concept of time. So 3D image would be a still, yep. three-dimensional figure, whereas 4D would be a live 3D rendering. So it captures data. data over a period of time and then it replays it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. I really wish I would have had that when, when <laughs> I had my kids. All we got was a little printout that was barely, I mean, I can remember having an argument with whether or not I had a boy or a girl. So, so, so Justin, another, another thing to add that's really neat about this technology is we've kind of done away with using a thermal printer. Yeah. Uh, we have a technology called Hello Mom, uh, where essentially as long as our system is tied to the same network, the person on the table has their phone logged into the same Wi-Fi signal, they can scan a QR code on the ultrasound after they're done with their scan mm -hmm. and instantly get their messages on their cell phone to share with their family, put on their internet or whatever they need digitally. Um, which is, it's such an incredible um, thing because now we're, we're not wasting paper and we're not, we don't have the need for an additional peripheral. That is so cool and almost creepy that you could see a baby in such high resolution because you can actually really pick out on the ceiling tile, you can pick <laughs> out the facial features. Yeah, so that's using our freestyle. So the freestyle allows you to basically project the, whatever's on the image on the system onto any surface that you'd like. Yeah. It's really great. Moms really love it. They can, you know, have that wonderful experience, you know, while they're having their ultrasound mm -hmm. and that they're a part of the process as well. And so this is the Hera W10 Elite Ultrasound System, yeah. which is more set up for your women's health application. Okay. So this can be found in MFM uh, facilities, so maternal fetal medicines. So right. They specialize in high-end um, OBGYN exams. This can also be found in the hospital um, on the OB unit for, for mothers when they're getting their exams before they deliver and OBGYN facilities. So, you know, before moms even get pregnant, we want to make sure that their um, reproductive organs are nice and healthy and we can evaluate all of that from before pregnancy to after pregnancy right here on the Hera W10 Elite. That's really cool. Now, I know that there's often like complications and they sit there and you have to sit there in a very uncomfortable spot, taking shot after shot after shot, because maybe you think the cords are wrapped around the neck or something. It's, right. it's a very uncomfortable situation. I can only imagine for the lady. Um, I've definitely been in the room during those cases, but this one here, you can actually see it moving. Absolutely. And it kind of eliminates a lot of those questions that I had before. Now, you can also I, see fetal heart as well. So mm -hmm. you, can, you can see the fetal heart image with our really? technology. And you can detect which way the blood is flowing. Again, you saw the, the color on the other yeah, system, yeah, yeah. the blue and the red. So for us technicians, we know that as BART, blue away, red towards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. the acronym we mm -hmm. use to remember what the, which direction of flow, which velocity the blood is moving. And so it's just so incredible that you can not only go in and see your baby, but you can check on the, your heart of your baby mm -hmm. and your anatomy of your baby while, while your baby is still being um, created. That's yep. amazing. And a huge part of the OB survey is to survey all of those anatomical structures within the baby. So we do a very detailed review of the fetal heart using color, using Doppler. Um, there's fetal echoes, which are a specialty within um, OBGYN, where they're actually looking at the heart in great detail to look for any type of defects that they could correct right when baby is born. Now, I noticed one small detail. Not only yes. is there obviously a webcam on ah. that one, but it's got a larger display than this one over here. Yes, we have different monitor options depending okay. on the model you choose. Okay, that's mm -hmm. something I, I wasn't expecting. You would think that it would be so out our, of the box. It's our, Hera Elite, our Hera Elite screen has actually gone up in size. Um, it's, it's significantly bigger than our standard Hera. Really? So That's, you'll see these on the floor and you may not recognize them, is, but the guys. screen will tell you. Now, from the front, it's an illusion. You think, oh my God, this guy, it's huge. Can I even get that profile? The camera <laughs> doesn't even like it because it's <laughs> too thin. <laughs> it's, it's so thin that it ha it's trying to focus on something. It's like, uh, we'll just guess right there. Yeah, that's it's a huge monitor, and, and it's here on the really top, thin. you'll see that we have a webcam, and this is part of that SonoSync that you were recently introduced to. So you can actually use a webcam connection, and as part of SonoSync, see the user while they're scanning. So you can talk through it, 
um, and visually see each other connected on a laptop hundreds of miles away and here right on the, the system. So SonoSync is something that uh, people are definitely not used to, and this is how telemedicine is going. So the crazy thing about SonoSync is a doctor can have a web app where they can log into the system and they can control every single feature on this control panel. I seen, and we'll do another video later mm -hmm. where you guys can see it in more detail. I can see this control panel, I can see that, and I can see a webcam all on the computer display and the doctor can give visual and auditory instructions to the sonographer telling them what they'd like to do next or move it here or the doctor himself can take measurements from hundreds of miles away. And uh, that's very cool. So one doc can actually handle a whole fleet of medical facilities mm -hmm. and sometimes even across the world. Absolutely. It's great for our rural areas, areas and communities that may not have an MFM physician in right. that town. They could remote into the system the next town over and not have to travel to the facility to see these images of these babies. That is absolutely So wild. it's great for access to care. So well, if, you, if you look at this another way too, um, the SonoSync program is being used a lot in colleges that mm -hmm. are training your great for education. What? I didn't even think about so that. So it makes it really easy for you, you to have nine different ultrasound students learning to scan and then the professor can sit at their desk and see everything that's going on without having to hover over the student, making them nervous while they're learning. That's to, super cool. So we see we use this technology a lot in our college campuses. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it, folks. That is a quick overview of the complete line of Samsung ultrasounds. And they're absolutely stunning and full of features. I'll have a link in the video description down below. So if you want more information, these fine folks can help you out. Or come visit us on the suite. Or come, yeah. come visit. We'll send you the link, Justin, for the suite. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great knowledge base for sonographers and people to use to learn more about our ultrasound line. Ladies, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And folks, there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.